Welcome back everybody to the ARPG tutorial for Legacy of the Wizard and uh, as you can see I completely messed up my intro but uh, anyways we're working more on the states and adding more of them to our project so let's get cracking okay so last time we left off with adding movement to our player object so you can move left and right basically and that's about it so what do we want to do next well there's a lot of different states that we want to get into here so let's see how many we can fit into 20 minutes and let's start off with well let's see what is our come over here player states move is our first state at zero so what is our next state our next state is shoot so let's add in the shoot state other user event one since that is number one in the enum. Add a title. Makes it easier to figure out when you're looking at the uh, side over there which one you're working on or you're looking for. And let's get going on this. So uh, the shoot state is pretty much exactly the same as the move state. In fact, it is. I think it's almost completely identical. The only difference being that you use a different animation while you're in the shoot state. So let me see here. All right. Pound region animation. Again, we do this. Let's see, the only thing we do here is make our animation underscore speed equal animation speed. None of the special cases that we had over here for direction facing and whatnot. And, oh, we should probably go back to the create event before we actually do anything and add in our sprites for the shoot state. So let me grab this chunk of code. There we go. Sprites, player state dot shoot, right. Should be magic, cast magic right, cast magic up, cast magic left, 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 down, and right again. All right, that should work. And back to the shooting state. One of the things that we need to do is add in a new region here. Region states. What is this region for? This region contains code for swapping back to our original state from the new state. So we have to choose what state we're in at any given time. So in this case, if animation underscore hit underscore frame one, then do something. What is animation hit frame? Animation hit frame is a script that figures out what frame you're on in your animation. So let's go over here. Cast magic right is two frames. We have zero and one. So when it hits the one frame, then it swaps back to uh, the move state. So there we go. State underscore is equal to player underscore states dot move event underscore user state underscore and exit because we don't want to be executing any of the code that would follow if we stayed in this state and in this case it looks like we moved to a different state so we don't want to execute any of this code now I'm just gonna wrap this in another region there we go and if we come back here there's a lot more code in here for all the other states that we'll be adding later on, but I'll get to that in a bit. Yeah, we just basically copy and paste our collision code. So there's no difference here. This is all the same. So you can see I put tons and tons of comments that help me remember what in the world I'm doing throughout all this stuff. I don't really 
type it in as much though when I'm actually showing this all off. Anyway, so using this information, we should be able to do a shoot state. But first, we need to actually put in some information into this side so that while in the move state, we know how to swap to the shoot state. So let me see here. Okay. region states found region shoot found in region count in region okay so if object underscore input dot well no I don't need to do that because I already grabbed the input back here so shoot underscore input if shoot underscore input underscore and object underscore stats dot magic underscore is greater than zero because if we don't have any MP we don't want to be able to shoot and if instance underscore number object underscore magic underscore shot is less than three so we are going to be creating an object when we shoot that will be our shooting object but we only want three on the screen at any given time so we have to add in that a little bit and let's keep going there's a lot of cases in here because you got to figure out all these little things for choosing whether or not you want to actually be able to shoot so and don't need that there not audio underscore is underscore playing sound underscore cast underscore magic so we don't want to be casting if we are if the sound of the magic casting is already playing and actually it looks like I do need this or audio underscore sound underscore get underscore track underscore position cast underscore magic underscore sound remember that variable we made a while back that didn't have any reason for existing at that time well now it does it's greater than 0 0.1 so if there is no magic sound playing or the last time we played the magic sound the audio has gone past 0 0.1 seconds of play time so uh, if we come down over to our sounds if it is beyond that point then we can play another one we can shoot again it allows us to rate limit based on the sound so that's fairly useful for our purposes there we go that should be good okay good got all my parentheses in place parentheses are the bane of programming all right so what do we got here var underscore shot is equal to instance underscore create underscore layer x y instances object underscore magic underscore shot and let's create that object real quick the object object underscore magic underscore shot and we give it a sprite character girl no it's not that other no Where in the world did I put it? I thought it was in the character. Oh, there it is. Yep. Magic shot. Sprite girl magic. And let's see. Any other code in here? Yes. We have a life timer. So create event. When we create it, alarm is zero is equal to sick times one so one second 
you don't really need the times one but I just put it in there to illustrate better what it is supposed to be then we have alarm zero lifetime and instance underscore destroy and another one we want to have one last special case so we go down to other and we say outside view zero so once it is managed to move outside of where we can see and also instance underscore destroy that way it can't just uh, continue on forever well it also lets us shoot faster if we're like up against the edge of a room or something and again that's kind of like a personal preference thing they set it up so it would work that way in the original game but you wouldn't have to do that necessarily if you like if you didn't want to so there we go magic shot has been created and go back to the code over here and for shot.speed we are going to use some simple built-in variables for the speed and direction of these things rather than actually using collision code so max underscore speed underscore times two why do we do it by max speed because there is a actually a uh, a uh, item in the original game that allows you to speed up your character so if you but when you do that also the speed of the shot increases as well so we don't want to forget to be able to do that but uh, we're not actually gonna put that item into this game so it's kind of unnecessary but I put it in there anyways underscore shot dot direction is equal to direction underscore facing underscore times 45 because remember direction facing is a is a number from 0 through 7 so then we times it by 45 to get the actual direction and feed it into there in degrees not radians cast underscore magic underscore sound equal to audio underscore play underscore sound sound underscore cast underscore magic one false image underscore index is equal to zero because we want to make sure our character is at the start of their animation for this state. Object underscore stats dot magic underscore minus minus because we just used up some magic. State underscore is equal to player underscore states dot shoot and event underscore user state underscore and exit. And I think that's everything we need to be able to shoot. Let's go take a look. All right. Press our shoot. We shoot. We score. And for some reason, everything is so slow in the game. I don't know why. I need to figure out why that's happening. It's probably because I don't have the, uh... Did I set up my configurations right for, uh... Oops. 60 FPS? Yes, I did. So why in the world is everything... Oh, wait. No. It's not that. Well, I still don't know why that is. I'll figure it out eventually. Anyway, so that's the shoot state. So now you can actually shoot, move your character around. Let's see how long this thing has been going. Looks like we're at 14 minutes. So I don't think I'll be able to fit in another state for this video. So we'll just leave that as is right now. And thank you everybody for watching and good luck with your coding.